Last night, I had a dream. I found myself in a desert called Cyberland. It was hot, my canteen had sprung a leak, and I was thirsty. Out of the abyss walked a cow, Elsie. I asked if she had anything to drink. She said, I'm forbidden to produce milk in Cyberland. Diet Coke. Diet Coke, she said. Only thing to do is jump over the moon. They closed everything real down, like barns and troughs and performance spaces, and replaced it all with lies and rules and virtual life, life. But there is a way out. Only thing to do is jump over the moon. I've got to get out of here. It's like I'm being tied to the hood of a yellow rental truck, being packed in with fertilizer, hand fuel, pushed over a cliff by a suicidal man. Jump over the moon. Only thing to do is jump over the moon. Then a little bulldog entered. His name we had learned was Benny. And although he once had principles, he abandoned them to live as a lapdog to a wealthy daughter of the revolution. One, two, three, that's bull, Benny said. Ever since the cat took up the fiddle, that cow's been jumping. The dish and the spoon were evicted from the table and eloped. She's had trouble with the milk and the moon ever since. Maybe it's a female thing. Cause who would want to leave Cyberland anyway? Walls ain't so bad. The dish and the spoon, for instance, they're down on their luck. They come knocking on my doghouse door and I said, Not in my backyard, utensils. Go back to China. Beady ball. The only way out is up, Elsie whispered to me. A leap of faith. Still thirsty. Parched. Parched. Have some milk. And I lowered myself beneath her and held my mouth to her swollen udder and sucked the sweetest milk I had ever tasted. <sighs> Climb on board, she said. And as a harvest moon rose over Cyberland, we reared back, we sprang into a gallop, leaping out of orbit. I awoke singing. Sir, move with me. Man.